Okay, everybody, I am so, so excited today because I am joined by Thaisa Farmiga, aka Gladys Russell, in the Gilded Age, which premieres on HBO Monday. How are you doing today, Thaisa? I'm pretty fabulous, to be honest. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So I absolutely love the show. I'm excited for everyone to watch it. And yeah. what I love in particular is your portrayal of Gladys because it's a character that is just so reserved and it's a restrained performance that's really good with good posture and uh -huh. there's this properness to her. So is that <laughs> harder to play though, would you say, than playing someone who's like eccentric? Um, you know, again, everything's gonna have its ups and downs. I think, um, you know, I think Gladys's naiveness and and is she gonna have it? A bit of a hint of shyness and 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 you know just being slightly sheltered and, and being under her mother's her mother's um wing you know her mother doesn't want her to to, to flourish and grow up and, and and get out in the world unless it's the way that bertha wants um you know i think that i really related to gladys's desire to break free of her mother's expectations of her and and, and growing up in a house of sometimes seemingly arbitrary rules and and why does this have to be this and i think it's it's um yeah, you know, I, I, the fact that she's so restrained in the beginning, I think it's fun because it's like she has such a, there's such a potential journey for her to go. And you're already over season one, you see her blossom quite a bit by the end of it. And even so in that regard, it's only a little bit if you, if you look at the big picture. So I think there's, I think it's fun to start from maybe a more closed off space because uh, the journey is, is what's going to be very exciting. Yeah, and, and like you were mentioning, I love that it kind of goes at this slower pace and a natural realistic mm -hmm. way to see someone kind of change. And I love you mentioned your mother in the show Bertha was played by Carrie mm -hmm. Coon how did you guys approach that relationship because it's a pretty cold one from her like, how did you and Carrie uh, kind of get on the same wavelength I mean, here I mean Carrie was just was just was just busting my balls the entire season anytime <laughs> something went wrong anytime anything was ah Thaisa oh it's Thaisa what Tha where's Thaisa we're waiting for Thaisa you know what I mean um yeah. she's just honestly she's one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met and um I don't I don't have enough positive words to say about her she's phenomenal as an actress but also just as a human being she's one of the kindest people I met but also being um just just unapologetically herself and it, it's really it's really beautiful to to watch it's also beautiful to be a part of and her chemistry with Morgan Spector who plays George my father is just incredible it, it kind of made my job easy when I was in the scenes because you just you just get to um feed off their energy yeah and I think that's what people are gonna be excited about just watching this Russell family and how many feelings we get watching how they treat each other it's it's fascinating <laughs> stuff so yeah I also noticed too with the character of Gladys she's um knitting at one point and then you even get to like carry around a parasol like when you're doing little character details like this like do you start like seeing how you could find joy in this? Like how people back in the day did like, are you knitting now? Are you into it? I am not, I'm not, I'm not knitting now. I have knitted, I have knitted in the past. My, my older sister Vera got me into knitting. I think I once knit myself uh, like a little beanie, which I still have. And it's my proud, one of my proudest moments in life. Um, but current it. day Thaisa has not picked up knitting or embroidering from, from, from Gladys, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I mean it's fun. It's it's all those little details. It's it's something that I would never experience in my life as Thais. I'm not a I'm not a parasol kind of girl. I'm you know what I mean? Like okay. I, like I, I mean just check I know, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather be like sweaty digging up some plants in the backyard, which I don't think Gladys would be totally into. But I mean that's the fun of it. You know what I mean? I think that's one of the biggest draws of this project for me was being able to step into a world that I really had no experience with. Yeah, and that's that's interesting. You mentioned that too because you know you're mostly known for doing these great horror and thriller projects. So, sure. What was something that stood out to you about doing this period piece that maybe you liked a little better than maybe doing a horror? Yeah, you know, I think it's 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 it's. I, I want to be careful with the word better because it's not better; it's different. I think what you get excited okay. about as a human is new experiences. It's the same thing that mm. Gladys is striving for. You know what I mean? She wants to venture out in the world and be independent and 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 get out of her mother's light and or, or shadow I mean and and um establish yourself and it's the same thing for me and my person in my personal life I, I love new experiences and trying new things and um I again as I said I wasn't familiar with 1880s and the idea of stepping this world into a world again I'm not associated with is very different than horror story or the nun or anything like that and yeah, it's nice to grow. It's nice to, to flex your wings in a different way and try something new. And I, I think I definitely was, was, was pushed at times, like even just the working on the dialect with Howard Samuelson was our dialect coach. Like I was, I was 
nervous about it. I was like, you got to sound proper. You got to watch your posture. You got to do this. But at the end of the day, you know, the first day was, it was nerve wracking, but then you're in it and it's just playing pretend. It's just playing yeah. pretend. <gasps> yeah. that That's really cool to hear. And that, that, it seems like you guys are having fun doing it. And mm -hmm. Would you say there's anything you learned about just life in general from playing Gladys, something that may be connected to today through her character? Um, that's interesting. I've never, I truthfully haven't thought of that. Um, you can say no, you could just say no. Yeah, I, no I, I was just, I was, I was just thinking about it. No, um, I, was no. About it I, think, I think it was maybe, you know, I think it's, yeah, I feel like, to this day, I still have like, you know, you butt heads with your parents and, 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 and their beliefs and what they want from you and things like that. And I think in a way it was almost comforting being able to play Gladys because it's like, oh, it's like, it's kind of something you never really, you never really grow out of, you know what I mean? Your obviously your relationship with your parents ebbs and flows and it grows, but I don't know, it's kind of nice to remember that like, man, everyone has a hard time. Everyone like butts heads with the, with their parental units. Oh, totally. Totally. And, um, I have to mention too, because you talked about American Horror Story and stuff mm -hmm. and already being known as one of these amazing screen queens of all time. You look at all these lists online. Is that a badge of honor for you or you don't really like care about oh, that? Oh no, like, since... of course, of course. I love it. I mean, God, my like my horror scream is it's like, I feel like back when like I was filming that like Final Girls and Horror Story and all that, like I didn't realize how much I loved it. But now like, yeah, my horror scream is a badge of honor. Absolutely. I mean, oh, hell yeah. screen queen too, but also just like the like, I love the like, I just picture filming the nun and it's the like, but whatever something comes out and you just do that like ah, like i love that i love that hell yeah no that that's exciting to hear because like I, i'm one of those people's passionate about seeing you in these films and being a screen yeah. so it, it's yeah. cool that you like it too and also i have to ask this total curveball but you're a known yeah. patriots fan um <laughs> sorry sorry about saturday and um oh. i do want to know though are you a super fan of football can we put that on the record is that official um i super fan is such a such a hard word. I am, I'm a fan of football. My, um, growing up, my parents or my dad, um, he grew up in Argentina for, from five to 18. So he watched, um, soccer, real, real, quotation. real football. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was only once I, I started dating my, my partner, my now husband, um, he was a huge, uh, football fan and he, he went to college in, uh, at Emerson when, when, um, Tom Brady was first at the, at the Patriots. So, that is how I became a football fan seven years ago. I am a huge football fan. I love it because it feels like a game of chess to me. I have a very logical brain, um, but super fan. I don't know. I feel like I still have a bit more to learn before I can claim that title right under. It'll be the next one under Scream Queen. <laughs> I lo love it. Everybody, <laughs> everyone who's a super fan of Thaisa, check her out in Gilded Age this Monday. Watch her absolutely crush it as Gladys Russell. Thaisa, I just want to say before I let you go, this was a dream come true for me. Uh, Part of me doing what I do, interviews and reviews, that keeps me going in the morning was one day I hope to interview Tyson for me get happened. Oh, dude. So I'm grateful that you talked to me and I, I hope to talk to you again in the future one day. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Steve, it's my absolute pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate your time.